Well, during President Xi Jinping's upcoming visit to Saudi Arabia, the two countries are expected to sign a series of deals related to cooperation in the Belt and Road Initiative, space and aviation technologies, as well as the nuclear energy sector. The visit is welcomed by many Saudi companies which want to further business partnerships with China. Nathan Rogers has more. The Saudi Arabia Basic Industries Corporation, or SABIC, is one of the world's largest petrochemicals manufacturers and the biggest public company in Saudi Arabia. The company highly values its 30-year business relationship with China and has 18 joint ventures on the Chinese mainland. In advance of President Xi Jinping's visit, SABIC's CEO says he believes relations between his company and China are set to become even stronger. China has always been one of the most important markets for us. Now we not only sell products to China, but also try to turn it into our major factory. This is an important strategy for us, which reflects our company's strong will to strengthen cooperation with China. Ben Yan has high expectations for President Xi's state visit this week, and believes Saudi Arabia can learn from China, particularly in terms of economic transformation. The CEO says the high-ranking Chinese delegation being sent to Riyadh for the state visit echoes China's commitment to build closer ties. He believes the trip will have lasting benefits. We are very glad to see the high-level officials from the Ministry of Commerce as well as the National Development and the Reform Commission are among the delegates. They will definitely push forward the cooperation between China and Saudi Arabia in various fields. China and Saudi Arabia have developed a stable relationship and one of mutual benefits. The two countries cooperate in a number of fields, including infrastructure and labor services. Like SABIC, many other Saudi Arabian companies are now seeking to forge closer business ties with China. No doubt President Xi's visit will help them achieve this. Nathan Rogers, CCTV.